Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about grand composite curves. But before that, let us look at the diagram which is shown here, which is known as shifted composite curves. So, if we plot the you know shifted temperature and corresponding enthalpy, we get this shifted composite curves. And the basic difference between shifted composite curves and the actual temperature you know composite curve is that at pinch point both the curves touch each other right if it would have been an actual uh, temperature scale there would have been a difference of delta t minimum but uh, for shifted temperature both hot and cold streams are touching at pinch point whereas actually they are delta t minimum away from each other and in similar way we can find which for which for actual temperature scale also we discussed that uh, you know process to process heat recovery is 450 uh, kilowatt uh, <coughs> above pinch as we can see that the you know hot stream is falling short of supplying all the duties uh, to the cold stream and hence you require heating uh, utility and below pinch the cold stream is uh, failing to receive all the energy which is supplied by cold uh, sorry hot streams and hence we require some amount of cooling utility <clears throat> this is the shifted composite curve it provides you the same information as that of actual temperature right so shifted composite curves we can find minimum amount of heating and cooling unit utility right a graph of neat net heat flow that is the utility requirement of the cascade right against the shifted temperature is known as the grand composite curve so in pta your last column which is showing you the uh, you know net heat flow starting from minimum hot utility to the minimum cold utility and in between a zero which is indicating pinch point as a function of the shifted temperature which is your uh, first column right if you plot that that is known as grand composite curve or gcc it represents difference between the heat available from the hot streams to the heat required by the cold stream relative to the pinch point and at a given shifted temperature thus a gcc is a plot of the net heat flow against the shifted or interval temperature which is simply a graphical pl plot of the problem table analysis or problem table flow the composite curves can be used to set energy targets so your shifted or actual temperature composite curves when they are plotted right they'll give you the energy target they'll tell you that what much what is the amount of hot utility or cold utility or minimum required but it will not tell you that what is the proper utility which you need to supply at what temperature you need to supply that right so it shows only the requirement it doesn't show the uh, a quality of the utility requirement which can be seen with the help of grand composite curve it is a more appropriate tool for understanding the interface between the process and the utility system it will also be useful to study the interaction between the process and some other units like reactors or distillation columns which i think we can see in the other videos it will show the temperature level of the utility as well as i already told you which cannot be seen in problem table analysis so this is a typical grand composite curve and as you can see that you know it shows the it shows the this is the amount of heat which hot streams can provide and this is these are the cold stream which moves in this direction so there is an exchange between hot stream and cold stream and this this is called as a energy uh, recovery pockets here your cold stream are receiving energy up to this extent and hot streams will be able to give up to this extent the remaining is your cooling duty but what is important for you to see is this is the pinch point and what is important for us to see is that this much amount of energy is required at this temperature this much amount of energy is required to be released at this temperature or less than that this temperature or more than that so now if you look at this particular diagram you can just look you can just see that the amount of heat, hot utility which is required is for this stream now look at the you know temperature scale of this stream it is between 80 and 100 and if you are providing it at 170 or 180 it is sheer waste of the quality we can always supply an energy which is at 120 and still this will get heated in the same way the cooling utility required right is for this particular temperature range so i can always supply it at 40 rather than 20. so i can decide the amount of or the level of the utility which is which which needs to be selected right i can even do it in parts as we can see so there is no need to supply all the utility at highest or the lowest temperature so highest is for your 
hot utility lowest is for cold utility now you know uh, in general you know i might have discussed in earlier videos as well that what we need in order to save money is colder hot utility and hotter cold utility because colder hot utility is cheaper compared to hotter hot utility in the same way hotter cold utility is cheaper compared to cold cold utility right because we need to invest energy we need to invest money in getting hot utility hotter and cold utility colder however these are not in our hand but whatever is possible we can use uh, you know we can try to optimize the use of costly utility by means of studying gcc properly so this is the cascade and what i am trying to say is what i was trying to say is this that you know here according to this particular cascade you require to provide 7.5 at the highest possible temperature and that will make this energy balance proper right but that can be done in you know parts as well you don't supply any utility here but supply 4.5 megawatt here because this is minus 6 so you just give sufficient amount here so making it 6 making this 0 so there is no energy transfer at this particular uh, you know interval again add 3 here make this 0 so total amount of energy required to be supplied remains 7.5 but now i am supplying this at two different temperature scale which make sure that my amount of the you know or the costing required for the utility is you know naturally less compared to the utility which i would have supplied at 7.5 so this kind of insights we can get when we plot this particular diagram you know on gcc right so this is again another example of a classical gcc where we can you know utilize the you know utility at different scales so in general this is something which we can do where i am supplying the utility at the highest temperature but there is a scope of improvement what i can do is this particular portion i can cut and i can supply that at a lesser temperature so my utility requirement at 250 is reduced by this much amount how much amount almost three unit of energy out of total seven or eight so now i require five unit of energy at a higher temperature three unit of energy at a lower temperature in the same way cold utility i am supplying at 40 as again this i can also use something like this wherein the temperature is changing so this are uh, this is a uh, high heat capacity the one which is in you know, horizontal whereas other is will be changing the temperature but if it is available to me if it is cheaper i can use that option so all this possibility i can explore with the help of grand composite curve i can also do this like you know that i i you know supply hp steam here and uh, low pressure steam here it is a very similar to our cre previous example or i can replace this entire thing with hot oil so various options could be there in front of me by exploring them on gcc i'll be able to decide what is going to be cost effective as far as supplying energy is concerned keep one thing in mind that in all this discussion one thing is for sure and that is the amount of hot or cold utility required remains the same it doesn't change but the quality of that utility we can change and thereby we can save the costing so some of the points to summarize composite curves give you conceptual understanding of how energy targets can be obtained right the problem table and its graphical representation the gcc give you same results including the pinch point more easily energy targeting is a powerful design and process integration aid right and gcc provides you with the you know uh, liberty of deciding which utility is to be supplied at which level and thereby you can cost you know uh, you know effectively minimize the cost of the required amount of utility thank you